Former head of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, Dr. Vincent Adams, has real estate over its approval of an agreement with Professional Waste Solutions Incorporated, known as PWSI, for the construction of a waste management facility at Coverdan. Dr. Adams contends that PWSI is an experience in oil and gas. That, uh, that the AFC stand with them for, fighting, for standing up for, for their rights as citizens of that community. The leading petroleum engineer claimed that there is no information regarding the technical expertise of the company. You know, the big question that we must ask is who is really responsible for this positioning of the way that comes from those, those, um, those FPSOs. And it's, it's unquestionably Exxon. The AFC advisor said that such a hazardous and complex operation requires an environmental impact assessment known as an EIA. And now they've, they've got their friends and families giving this company, for example, $214 million to set up this facility. And there are all kinds of questions that have been raised in the media. We must hold Exxon accountable for the disposition of, of this waste through, through treatment and disposal of the final residues as for the contract. As for the contract, they are responsible, not only as PWSI. In a letter from concerned residents addressed to the EPA dated September 9th, and which was seen by this newscast, residents again objected to the project while reminding the EPA of its obligations. Residents are also seeking a cease order to be immediately placed on PWSI to halt all activities until they confirm with the EPA Act and rule of law, including public consultations and information sharing directly with the residents of Coverden and members of the public. Antonio Day reporting for the AGP Nightly News.